Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, how many times can we do um, a chit chat, get rid of me and have it titled as a chit chat, get rid of me? Honestly, so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad with my YouTube video titles. So I kind of thought I would do something a wee bit different today. We'll be honest, I actually did get this video idea off Tati Westbrook. I think she done a video like this months ago months ago. But basically all the products in this video that I'm going to be using are going to be £15 or dollars or less. So yeah, it's kind of like a glam on the budget type video. So this is obviously the makeup look I created here. Obviously it is full glam. We don't know anything else right here. <laughs> but anyway guys, this is the makeup look I created and if you want to see how I got this makeup look then, just keep on watching. I'm just going to be starting off with my brows. I'm just going to be using the soap brows. This is definitely my favourite part of doing my eyebrows. I love doing this. I just love seeing how much hair I have now. Like, what? <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. Yeah, I like to use soap brows, but I don't actually like to like completely stick my brow hairs to my face. Um, and then I like to go in with a wee eyebrow pencil. I'm using the Lotte London Arch Rival. So it's just like a wee microfine brow pencil. And then I just use this to draw my guide and to fill the brow in. To be fair, like my eyebrows at the minute are kind of in that stage where they need done, like they need waxed or plucked or I don't know what you do with brows these days um, <laughs> because I've never had any. I have a serious amount of hair going on down here and it's a wee bit difficult to work with whenever I'm doing like particular eye makeup looks because I'm like say shadow look patchy but um, I don't know, I'm just kind of scared to go to somewhere and actually get my eyebrows done. I don't know why, I'm just... I'm kind of still kind of in the process of growing them out to actually see how crazy they can actually get but they still need tidied up every now and again I think. Using that wee pencil again. I just like to start at the front and just go in like wee upward motions. Just filling in any of them wee sparse areas. And kind of creating like wee hair stroke. And then once I have that done, I'm going to be taking the Colourpop liquid liner and this is the brown shade. And I also just like to use this to create some wee hair like strokes as well. Obviously because this is a liquid liner, it's very intense, very pigmented, very liquidy let's just say. So I like to go really light handed with this. And then I'm just going to be using just a wee concealer just to carve out underneath the brows. And this kind of camouflages just like some of that hair as well by the way, but not that much. It does look a wee bit crispy every now and again, but it's fine. It does the job from a distance. <laughs> I'm going to be doing my eyes first of all today and I'm going to be going in with this e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I know I did just go in with a wee bit of concealer just to conceal the under brow underneath my brow <laughs> um but realistically I only ever put enough on to just kind of slightly drag it down I just like to go in with a wee bit of a primer next oh yeah did I tell you what this is it's the eye potty primer from elf and it's in the shade cream by the way these are a fantastic dupe for the mac paint pots yeah, they are MAC paint pots. They are so similar in consistency. They also really do prolong the longevity of your eyeshadow. And they also do come in a number of different shades. So Every time I use these in tutorials, I always get asked what these are called. So these are basically just wee shadow shields. And I get these off eBay or Amazon. Doesn't really matter, although I do prefer um, eBay. Like I know some people whenever they finish their eyeshadow they just get a wee makeup wipe and just swipe it up but I can never seem to get them even or I will go too high 
up. So I thought I would use these wee mini eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. I've only used um, each of these once before and they're absolutely fantastic. Really, really great quality for great value. And yeah, they're just awesome wee palettes. So I'm just going to be using the two of them up that I have today. So this first one I have here, this is the Truffles one, I think. Yeah, Truffles. As you can see, we have like a wee transitional colour. We have a black and we also have a dark brown. The next one I have here is Hot Alabino. A judge. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and that's what this palette looks like here. My favourite eyeshadows are like green and yellows and like really pukey greens. Absolutely beautiful on the eyes. So yeah, this palette was absolutely beautiful. Definitely caught my eye. So I think I'm actually want to use the two of these palettes together today to try and come up with something. Probably something neutral with a wee pop of colour, you know doesn't get much more different than that. <laughs> I'm actually going to be taking the bronzer I'm going to be using today and this is the Milani Dulce bronzer. I'm actually going to take a wee bit of this. I'm trying to avoid the shimmer <laughs> and I'm just going to use this as my transitional colour. I was going to use this shade here but I do think it's going to be a wee bit too dark to act as a transitional colour. Okay, so that's us for our transition. Like, as I was saying, that's, that's all I want. Like, I just want a nice wee wash of colour just on the crease. Just within the crease, just to kind of start us off. So I'm now going to go on into the Truffles palette from e.l.f. And I'm going to be using this shade here. I'm going to be taking that on, on the exact same brush. And I first off just going to be starting within my crease. At the other corner. And just buffing and blending my way into the inner corner. So I'm not too sure if he's noticed or not, but I've took a couple of weeks off. <laughs> this is the first time I have sat down and filmed in, I want to say at least nearly two weeks because the past couple of videos I had up, I think I had kind of pre-filmed them. Um, but yeah, Kyle was off on his holidays, just for his summer holidays, off work. And I was like, oh sure, I'm self-employed. I think I'll take a couple of weeks off to join him. <laughs> I swear to God, living my best life, you know. And and then I'm going to go into uh, this shade here. I'm going to take it on a slightly smaller, extremely dirty brush. <laughs> but because this shade is quite dark, I'm just going to go quite sparingly with it, just a wee bit. Again, start in the outer corner, and I'm just going to work my way in. It feels so weird filming today as well, because today is the very first day I have filmed without anybody in my house. I don't know what it's like around the rest of the world, but everything here in Ireland seems to be gradually, slowly but surely going back to normal. And I don't know if I'm ready for that or not. <laughs> so obviously throughout lockdown, I had my sister here. She was over from Manchester. Manchester is where she lives. So she's back over in Manchester now. She had to go back to work. She works in a bar over there, Revolution de Cuba. And yeah, so I'm now in the house filming by myself, which by all means is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah, everyone's back to work and everything's back to normal again. And I'm sitting here filming every day, all day by myself in the house. And yeah. Loving it. <laughs> I'm actually going to be taking this over my lid as well, just in the outer corner. I'm just going to be patting that on just with the side of the brush. But these wee palettes here are three pounds slash three dollars and they are honestly so, so good. <laughs> like for three pounds, really? Cheap as chips. It's also my birthday this week. <laughs> but yeah, I'm coming 27 on Friday, 14th of August, and I'm not impressed. <laughs> I'm not impressed at all, actually. I think it's just this year. Like, I just feel like putting this year on hold. I just feel like I've done absolutely nothing this year. Thanks, Corona. I was thinking of doing a wee birthday get ready for me. Um, I'm not too sure what my plans are on Friday, but I was going to be doing, like, a nice wee special makeup look. <laughs> make myself feel a wee bit better. Um, so I was actually thinking of filming it with you guys and hopefully getting it up on the Friday. Um, or yeah, I don't know how it's going to work because I don't really want to be working on my birthday if that makes sense, but whatever. Then I'm going to be going into the hot jalapeno. This first shade here. 
It's kind of like an antique gold type of shade with kind of like a yellow-ish undertone, let's just say. And I'm just going to start packing this on. I'm also going to be using a wee bit of scent spray on my brush. Then I'm going to be going into this palette again. I'm going to be taking just a wee bit of that first shade that we took. And we're just going to be going in pattern motions over that shimmer shade. Just to help combine these two together and make the blend a wee bit more seamless. Okay, so I do apologize if this next product is over £15, but this is the Beauty Bakery Gelato Gel Eyeliner. But this is the only brown gel eyeliner I actually have in my collection. And I just went online there and I can't actually seem to find these. So maybe they're discontinued. I don't know, but I couldn't actually find a price. I think I'm just going to create a wing with this liner. And then I will probably go over it with one of these shades here just to make it a wee bit more matte. And just to set it in place. For primer, I'm going to be using the XX Revolution Face Freeze Primer. Just looks like this. So it kind of has like a gel like texture to it. So it's just quite a nice wee hydrating primer. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm going to be using the shade Golden Beige because obviously. As you can see, <laughs> um, I have a wee bit of a tan on at the minute and obviously I feel like I need to explain this in every single video but I clearly, <laughs> clearly do not tan my face because I always, always, always get comments. But yeah, so that's why I'm going to be using this slightly a darker shade to obviously match my neck. This was actually my go-to foundation years ago. I absolutely loved this foundation. It's definitely one of those foundations that either love it or hate it. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed reports about it, but for me, I absolutely love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's definitely, it was definitely my go-to foundation for years at one point. And then obviously I started doing YouTube and I just started expanding like my foundation range and stuff and started trying and testing new foundations because whenever I first started doing YouTube, I think this was like... The only foundation I used and it changed it just kind of got a wee bit repetitive and talking about L'Oreal I was actually added to L'Oreal's PR list um last week I think it was so that was exciting I haven't been sent anything just yet but obviously it might be a wee bit too soon but hopefully if they have any new releases Hopefully I'll be able to do maybe some videos on them or anything. For concealer I'm going to be using the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Fair 15W. So because the L'Oreal True Match is such a nice full coverage foundation, I just decided to go for a, a concealer that wasn't completely full coverage because realistically I don't need it. Um, but I just wanted a wee bit of something just to brighten and lighten my under eyes and just the centre of my face. Oh, I am so excited to use this powder. I'm then going to back slightly. I don't know why I always say slightly, if you're going to bake, you bake. <laughs> but I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun powder. And I'm just going to bake my under eyes and just down the side of my nose. Oh, I love the smell of this powder. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Chic and Glow. I'm using quite a lot of L'Oreal products. Just three. Just the three. <laughs> this is from the XX Revolution range as well. And this is their highlighter in the shade Focus. This wee one here. I'm just going to apply this with my fan brush. I feel like I say that every single time. <laughs> but anyway, not that you've probably noticed, but I got a new wig. It is so, so nice. I got it online and it was, it is synthetic, but I have to say it was pricey. It was very pricey. It's definitely a treat and a splurge, kind of like a to me, from me, you're fabulous kind of thing. Um, it was really long, so I had to cut it and it was really nice because it actually did come with like wee shorter layers. So it just kind of made it a wee bit more face framing. 
but it is quite light at the top as you can see because all the other wigs I do have have a dark root which I've kind of got used to wearing but no I have to say they are so so handy especially for filming and everything because I'm definitely the type of person like I could spend hours literally hours on my makeup <laughs> and then whenever it comes to my hair I'm just like okay <laughs> don't care I'm also going to be going in with a wee bit of kind of shape from this wee palette from Colourpop. You can no longer get this wee palette. I actually got this for Christmas a couple of years ago, but they do have all of these shades in singles. So cut and shape, you can also get it as just a wee individual single. I will link it down below. We just wanna have a wee nosy. See you at the minute, guys. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I bought makeup. Or can I? I think the last load of makeup I bought was the whole XX Revolution range of stuff. I'd done the haul and then I'd done the video. Is that the last makeup I bought? Do you know what? It's honestly been that long since I bought makeup. I can't remember. But I'm not mad. I'm actually pretty happy with it because definitely I think I've definitely told you before that this year I'm trying my hardest not to buy a lot of makeup and just use whatever is in my collection like don't get me wrong I do not have the same amount of makeup and the same amount of volume of makeup that other say youtubers have um but I definitely do have a lot of makeup for one person and obviously like it is my job but obviously because my job is here on YouTube doing my caption tutorials like um talking about new products reviewing them testing them whatever and I also like to keep my content nice and fresh and just not use the same products over and over again sometimes it can get a wee bit repetitive like I was saying with the L'Oreal foundation um it can be hard. <laughs> I'm not even too sure if I told you what blush I was using. It's the L'Oreal Lisa Peach Blush. As I was saying earlier, I used this on my eyes. This is the Milani Bite Bronzer in Dulce. Dulce? Dulce? I'm pretty sure one of these at some stage did correct me, but... Or did tell me what it actually is, but I forget. And please do excuse my neck. This tan is getting scrubbed off and washed off tonight and a fresh layer is going on tomorrow for my birthday. So I've just took my hairband off so you could actually see like what the roots of the wig looks like. Like it's definitely a bit of a funny colour and I don't know whether it's a funny colour because I'm not used to having like this colour like at my regrowth or anything or around my face but Nonetheless, it is like a really nice colour of wig. I love the colour at the ends. Uh, I don't know. It'll take me a while to get used to and I think I still need to sort out the um, the hairline, but it'll get there. Sometimes I find like the longer I wear my wigs, um, the more I will kind of notice what changes I need to make to them. Like, oh, it needs plucked a wee bit more or I don't know. <laughs> For my lips I'm going to be using the Dag of Scarlet Nude Lip Liner. And then for my lipsticks, I'm going to be using these two Maybelline lipsticks. I have the shades here, Baddest Beige and Brazen Beige. Great! I think I got this because of Jaclyn Hill. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. At a stage she raved about a certain Maybelline lipstick and everybody lost their shit really. <laughs> Including me. Um, but I'm not too sure if this was it or not but anyway, this is the one I'm going to be using anyway so it's Baddest Beige. Yeah. Oh that's quite nice actually. God it's very pale. Oh, mm, mm, okay. So for the eyes, I'm actually going to be taking the Glitterly Obsessed Glitter from Colourpop in the shade Puffin. This stuff here. This stuff is class. So, so good. Um, <laughs> they kind of advise you not to use it on the eyes because it is a very thick, chunky glitter. But um, I like to live dangerously and all that. So I'm going to be using that. So I'm just going to wait for that fix gel to go a wee bit more tacky on my lids. That should be dry. 
so I'm literally just going to pat it on. Like honestly, like you can't even see that. Completely pointless really, but honestly it is so beautiful. I actually have quite a lot of these wee pots. Well, whenever I say a lot, I mean three. Three. <laughs> but they are very, very nice. Ah, oh, lovely. So also, if you don't have this here, um, sorry, I'm, excuse me. <laughs> you could also, you could also use the yellow from the ColourPop uh -huh, Honey palette because you have this here, you know the centered one. I think it's actually like the same type of thing by the way. So you could use one or the other if you don't have the other let's just say. Like I'm not too sure if you can see that or not but it's just, it's just so pretty. It just kind of gives the eye makeup look just a wee bit more spice. <laughs> Oh, I love it! Like as I was saying there, like I know this is not for the eyes, but like I just make sure that I don't put a lot on, and I make sure that it's really pressed in. Like there's actually nothing on my brush now, but I'm just using this time to really press that glitter in and kind of spread it out a wee bit. I'm not going to swipe in motions or anything because I'm not wanting to interrupt the glitter because it's so chunky and then I'm not wanting to interrupt the underlying shadow that's underneath the glitter but I'm just wanting to make sure it's all pressed in and I'm going to be using tapping motions and pressing motions. Obviously if you want to do something a wee bit more extra on your lash line by all means knock yourself out <laughs> but I just get really lazy whenever it comes to my lower lash line. I spend so much work on my lid and then whenever it comes to my lash line I'm just like meh, complete neglect. <laughs> this is just like a wee trick I do, I'm not claiming that I invented it but if I did, whoopee. Um, whenever I'm working with glitters or pigments and I have them on the eyes I like to go in with a setting spray um, and I like to actually spritz my eyes once I'm completely done because then I find that it just sets the glitter and the pigment because I do find that some of throughout the day let's just say some of the glitters and pigments can actually fall onto the face or they could just be caught on the lashes so it just kind of makes sure that they're all kind of it's all kind of set okay guys so this completes this makeup try thank you so 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 much for watching and also just before i go please do keep an eye out on my youtube channel over the next couple of weeks because that is whenever i'm going to be doing my giveaway if you missed my last couple of videos where i mentioned it in at least one of them i think <laughs> um i'm going to be doing a giveaway it's going to be worldwide um it's actually a lot of pr makeup i have been sent so it's untouched unopened still in the original box packaging whatever um yeah it's literally like nearly 500 pounds plus worth of makeup that i'm going to be giving to you guys i'm going to be splitting everything up so in total it's going to be about four or five giveaways so at least some of these will all have a chance of possibly winning so yeah do keep an eye out on my channel for that it will be for one it will be one full dedicated video by the way so you definitely will not miss it also please do let me know down in the comment section what videos and what makeup looks and tutorials you just want to see coming up soon on my channel so yeah guys other than that thank you again so so much for watching all the products that i used in today's video will be listed and linked down below in the description box and again it's like word vomit. <laughs> I don't know how many times I gotta say it, but anyway guys, thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next one.